Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Investment Mindset. Today in this video, I will be sharing my latest analysis on MTAC stock as requested by one of my subscribers. Full disclosure, I do have a position on MTAC stock currently. And if you are interested to have full access to what stock I'm buying on Bursa and US, you may now sign up to join our newly created paid investment mindset exclusive membership. What you need to do is just to click on the join button below this video and choose if you want to access to my Bursa Stock Trades Live, which is only at Ringgit Malaysia 50 per month, or if you choose to have access to my US Stock Trades, which is only at Ringgit Malaysia 100 per month, you will get full access to my US Stock Trades and I also throw in free Bursa Stock Access too. If you have been a stock trader, you should know that Ringgit Malaysia 50 or 100 is merely a puny sum compared to the potential profit you could reap even from only one successful trade. All my trades are executed upon full research and technical analysis done by myself. Last week alone, I have closed out two winning trades. One made me a profit of 4% and the second one 5.3% profit. Thank you Lord. Now back to MTech. I know this stock has been testing the patience of many who have bought into it. If you have watched the most recent video which I did on MTech stock about a month ago, I was expecting MTech stock price to decline the next trading day that is 26 May due to its reported net profit having declined by about 32% though still profitable. But it didn't. Instead, the stock price rebounded from the last close of 41 cents to search up to 43.5 cents. Amstack stock only started to decline now on the 6th of June and gap down further on the ex-dividend date that is 9th of June. This means the market could be still cheering onto Amtech stock and bought it more in order to enjoy the dividend of 0.02 cents per share and later change their mind on the 6th of June. Don't ask me why, I can only say sometimes the market can be very fickle minded indeed. Since the dividend X date on 9 June, Ampex stock has been trading range bound between 42.5 cents to a low of 40 cents. Based on its pure technical analysis, when I look at its monthly time frame chart, I saw a doji form over here. A month earlier, the candle form was still showing indecision. Now that a doji is formed at its latest month, it usually indicates an early sign of a possible reversal in the stock price. Early sign means it may take up to a couple of weeks before the stock finally got to rally up. Now if I am to take a closer look at its weekly time frame chart, I could see that the stock has indeed been consolidating for about 5 weeks now and look at how the latest green candle is also getting higher. Also pay attention to the positive divergence shown on the RRSI indicator below. This is definitely a positive sign. And last Friday, Antec stock rebounded 3.7 cents to close at 42 cents. So, is Amtech stock finally showing sign of an uprising soon in its stock price? Though a rebound of 3.7% last Friday was a good sign but it lacked in volume. I need to see the price movement being backed up by huge volume. The volume on last Friday was almost only at its average volume of about 720,000. If on the subsequent days, I could see the volume building up and the stock price is slowly making higher low. That surely a prelude to a that is surely a prelude to a higher rally in Amtech stocks price. The first resistance Amtech stock price need to break through is at forty three point five cents, which also coincide with its one hundred days moving average level. If Amtech stock is able to break through forty three point five cents with huge volume. Then the probability of MTEC stock price to continue its rally higher to 46 cents and then 50 cents is on the higher side. Now do pay attention to the word I always use in my analysis that is higher probability. Means it is never 100% as I believe 
no one is able to come up with a 100% sure analysis unless if they do have a working crystal ball. <laughs> the market is anything but constant. Apart from the favorable technical analysis reading, there is one thing I would like to draw your attention to which may be weighing down on MTech stock price. That is one of its latest ongoing legal suits which MTech initiated against one of their vendors, that is Chapco Filter System Syndrome Berhard, for a sum of Brigitte Malaysia 27,551,305.09, which I did cover it in full details in my previous most recent video on MTech. According to the MTech management, if MTech Group succeeded in its claim, MTech Group will get the claim from Chapco and there will be no liability to the MTech Group. But if MTech Group fail in the legal suit, first it may result in the impairment of inventories subject to the auditor's review of the assessments of inventories value, second, storage costs of the balanced stock purchase for the period commencing 19 April this year until JEPCO takes delivery of the said stock which is estimated to be Rigid Malaysia 50,000 per month and third, legal costs estimated to be about Rigid Malaysia 700,000. To put things into perspective, the sum of this legal suit's claim is about Rigid Malaysia 27 million which is around 10% of MTEC market capitalization and also almost equal to MTEC earning in year 2022 of Ringgit Malaysia 35.24 million. So to me, this legal suit's claims amount is rather big. Hence, in my humble opinion, the end result of this legal suit is crucial as it would dictate if MTEC stock would get to rally back up from its current price or otherwise. This is the end of my sharing for today's video. If you have found value in my sharing, do smash onto the like button to let me know. Thank you and may the Lord bless you and your family abundantly. Bye and see you again in my next video.